everyone, my name is Athena. I am a contributor to The Catalyst, and I'm gonna be teaching you today how to make pita bread pizza. Um, so you can actually make this in either a microwave or an oven, depending on what you have. So we're gonna do this, the oven version for this video here, but just stay tuned for the microwave instructions. So what you're gonna wanna do first is, if you have an oven, preheat it to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and then you're gonna wanna line just a small pan like this with some tin foil. And then you're gonna wanna get some pita bread or flat bread. Uh, you can either make it thin crust or thick crust. I personally like thick crust better, so I'm just gonna use a little bit thicker pita breads. But they also make the really thin ones. So if you like thin crust, you can use those. Um, so then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take olive oil. And I'm Greek, so, you know, I only use the best, you know. So we're gonna just put a little drizzle on the pita bread like so. Make sure I don't put too much on this because that's definitely happened several times. All right, normally you need some sort of pastry brush to brush the olive oil in, onto the pita bread, but I don't have that, so I'm just gonna blot it with a paper towel, you know? We do things fancy here, guys. All right, so once we got that all squared away, you're gonna take your sauce. I like to actually make my sauce, so it's really easy to make it. Um, but if you don't have time or you don't have a, access to like a stove, just the store-bought sauce is perfectly fine. So you kind of want to take, just, I kind of eyeball it. I don't really do things by measurements, as you can already tell. So just kind of take enough just to spread it a good amount over your pizza. Uh, not too much, because then it'll make the pita bread soggy. All right, let's get that closed. And you're going to want to take a spoon like so and just kind of spread it around your pita, just like this. All right, that's a nice layer. Now, I like to make my pizza's pizza margarita, which is basically just mozzarella cheese and tomatoes and basil. Um, if you're gonna use basil in your pizza, though, you're gonna wanna not put it on the very top because it'll burn. So just take a couple pieces of basil like this and just kind of spread them on top of the sauce layer. Ooh, that smells really nice. Oh man, this reminds me of my house because my dad grows it in his garden and we're Greek so we use it in everything. Oh man, it smells really good. Okay, I'm just going to put all of it. Do you want more, Nancy? Because I'm making this actually for my friend Nancy. Say yes, Nancy. Add it all. Add it all. Add it all? Okay. All the basil, guys. Alright, so you're just going to do that. And now we're going to add the cheese. So we're just using some plain shredded mozzarella here. Uh, you can use, I guess, whatever you want, really, but can't go wrong with mozzarella. Hmm, I like those little mozzarella balls that you'll see, those are really good. And I would prefer that with these pizzas, but ain't nobody got time for that. So we're just gonna put a nice cheese layer. You want more, Nancy? Just a little. Just a little? Yeah. Okay. Is that good? That's perfect, thank you. Yes, more cheese, guys. And then you're just gonna put some tomato slices on the top. Um, but again, you can put whatever toppings you want, whatever you have. I just personally like to make it fairly plain like this. Keep putting those tomatoes on there. All right, perfect. And then what you're going to want to do is put just a little bit of oregano on top of it. Like, because I'm Greek, you know, so I put oregano on everything. You can ask my roommate. Um, and then you're going to put a little bit of pepper. You want some pepper, Nancy? Just a little bit. Okay. And if you really want to, salt and salt. No salt? Okay, good girl, because salt's bad for you guys. All right. So now once that's finished, you're going to want to pop this into the oven. Um, and it takes about 10 to 15 minutes, I would say. Probably more on the 15-minute side. Um, but just keep an eye on it. And if you have a microwave, you want to put it in the microwave at high for about 3 to 5 minutes. So again, just keep an eye on your pizza. But like I said, super easy to make. So, you know, because the magic of television, we're just going to kind of switch a room here. And we're going to show you a fully cooked pita bread pizza. Oh man, it smells really good. I'm really hungry and I really want to eat it, but I can't. So, that was it. Really super easy, super cheap. Actually, I got the recipe out of this book. It's called $5 a Meal College Cookbook. Uh, my dad gave it to me freshman year because he thought I would starve or something. I don't know. Um, but this literally costs like less than $1.50, super healthy, it's like, I don't even know how many calories, probably about 250 calories, something like that. Um, but yeah, so it's good for everyone to make, and you don't have to suffer dorm food. So happy cooking, guys.